How does that even happen? I'm supposed to pull this from the back here. How am I pulling it? That's pulling my pants forward. I would, I would rather set the pants on fire and order a new one besides, rather than re-throwing the whole drawer. What I used to do Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to the official 2022 Road to Worlds. This year we got some big things planned. Chase, what do you think about this year's Road to Worlds? You guys know the drill, you've seen this trip before. It's one of our most exciting projects every single year, visiting the most high level teams, seeing how they prepare for the World Championships. It's gonna be no different this time around. Going international once again, we'll see you guys there. And we're kicking things off right here in Austin, Texas. We're at Roca headquarters. We're gonna check in on Nicholas Marigali, see how he's been preparing. We might even get a little bit of, a little bit of Gordon Ryan in the geese. So let's get in there, let's go check it out. Maybe they fight. Hey, Need to fight the Brazileros. Let's see. It's a little tight, but I think it's on the rules. Huh? The actual reason you're trying to look good for us. Yeah, I'm like I'm always you looking good. <laughs> Be honest. <laughs> so we are here. Two hands on the knees. I cross my feet. I step ahead. I find an angle. We are on diagonal. I'm gonna grab the collar. I'm gonna grab the jacket on the rib area. I'm gonna connect my knee on his hip bone, my elbow, I'm gonna touch another hip bone and I should try to touch my shoulder on my own hand. When I do that, I can bring down my posture, I start to drop my body weight over look, I have my hand on the collar supporting me and I have a perfect base and pressure. Even if he looks, look tries to uh, push my chest away, so I'm heavy because my, my shoulder is too close to my hand, then uh, I'm blocking my body on the top, so I can keep sliding if I want. Of course, it's gonna be a war, but uh, in that battle, probably I will, I will uh, be more successful than me. Right? Let's try one, two. I'd rather set the pants on fire and order a new one besides, rather than re-throwing the whole drawstring. What I used to do is tie, tie them before I throw them in the washer, because sometimes that happens, it'll, it'll run its way out. You could just put shorts on them and just trade no gi, but no, yeah. the world's coming up. <laughs> Reach my base, get a hook inside, and then do the back. Instead of bringing in the elbow. So I'm, I'm turning his body uh, towards me, and I'm holding the body just because my elbow is uh, crossing his chest. So what I do here, I'm gonna uh, swing my hand uh, far from his body, pass my hand, my leg, over his head, and then see oh. on his on his head. Idea is about fold out to that or that side, lean my body and keeping some straight line here, elbow towards the chest and then so right? Let's do it. one, two. Yes, it's hard like I understand what you are telling you because like you just 
He just like send send voice message. Like, rah, 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 rah. <laughs> 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 I'm not understanding. <laughs> Text me, please. <laughs> yeah, me and him going to Sao Paulo this week. What happened last time we were there? Uh, double goal. Killed everybody. All subs, yeah. All subs. All no, subs. I don't think it was all subs. It was nine nine fights, eight subs, I but think. Hudson uh, disqualification. When he tapped kind and he yelled. No, man. I'm the king Don't of the shit. <laughs> and then I'm sitting there. The same, I'm sit. I'm sitting there on the side of the mat, and he comes to fix his shoes, and the whole place is yelling at him and throwing shit. And he just turns to me like nothing's going on, and goes, "Hey, man, let's hang out next week." <laughs> well, everybody, the whole place is yelling for him to die and shit. That's a true story, Nicholas. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately, it's a true story. You behave yourself more this week. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, little. Uh, I, I want to be more polite, maybe if yeah, I. Yeah. Well, you gotta be careful. Yeah, maybe like be more fake, like give fake interviews, you know, <laughs> like talk about the same thing people usually talk. I think it's gonna be nicer, you know. Now that I'm not as nauseous, I don't have to focus on being the best. Um, it's actually way more enjoyable than it was at Henzo's. And uh, John was teaching me at Henzo's, like the way that he always teaches you, which is like super slow. And he forces you to work on the things that you're worst at first, like dealing with lasso guards and stuff like that. But then when we got here, he just showed me like how to actually pass guard in the gi. And now I'm just passing everybody's guard and like forcing half guard and it's just so much easier because I have like belt grips for seeming gaiches and I force guys into half guard and I have I can like grab the gi so it's uh it's pretty enjoyable now uh, to be honest I I like training in the gi um, and uh, it's a it's an interesting game. Ten men. What's it been like uh, having John as a coach in the game? So different. Uh, I never, as I said in my first interview, I never said anyone even close to John about knowledge and approach to the sport and make the sport, he leaves the sport is different. So it's very inspiring, you know, for ever, everyone who is uh, around him. So it's very easy, you see how different he is, how passion, he, how much passion he put on the, on the work, you know. Uh, I'm traveling to Brazil uh, next week to uh, train a couple of days with my last team, Dream Archie. Uh, like, visit friends, hang out, you know, like, live a little little Brazilian life, you know, I'm missing being honest. And after 15 days, I will be back in Austin, finish my camp to get a job and then fight the World Championship. Last time I was there at Brasileiro with you, you were out there at 7 a.m. drilling leg drags on the concrete with someone. You gonna be doing <laughs> shit like that? Explain that for this guy. I showed up, I showed up for work, and I get there and there's, the, the place is closed, athletes can't go inside. And Nicholas is outside on the concrete. He's got some poor dude wearing a gi, and he's just drilling leg drags on, on the sidewalk before the before the place is even Oh, bro! <laughs> you can use me for that next week if you need. You know, guys, be a champion doing those shit. No, it doesn't say. All right, that's a wrap here at New Wave. What do you think about the training session, Chase? Dude, Gordon Ryan in the gi, Nicholas Marigali in action. A lot of fun out there. They ran it sort of similar to what you would normally see at a, a Danaher practice, right? Where they did some positional sparring as well as open rounds, drilling as well. A lot of fun. Gordon looks incredible in the gi. You know, no, no surprise. I feel like some people want to believe he wouldn't be in the gi. Mm -hmm. They prefer that, but that's really not reality. 
Nicholas looked great. And Puerto Rosa Mike yeah, in the Puerto mix Rosa as well, Mike. all day long, going hard in the round. So it was fun. We wanted to get here before Brazilian Nationals, but Marigali's going to be back before uh, Worlds actually happens. But also, we're going to be going all over the place by then. Where, where's, where's somewhere you're excited to check out, Chase? Oh, you know the tour, man. So we're going big this year. We'll be on the East Coast, hitting up some gyms out there. I'll be in California. You guys are going to be in Brazil. Can't reveal the names yet. You know how it goes, but it's going to be at least a five to seven gym tour. You know the drill. You guys have seen the Rose of the World Tour. Everyone's going to be involved. Cannot wait. It's my favorite thing of the year, and we're back, baby. Let's do it. Yeah, super exciting. Make sure you guys stay tuned on flowgrappling.com. Check it all out for yourself. <laughs>